What's up guys? We are here at Epcot today and what are we planning on doing, Jaden? Scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. So every festival they have a really awesome scavenger hunt. It's about six or seven dollars. You get a little prize at the end. And let me tell you, it is not easy. I will try to put a link to one of my other videos. You really have to look and you get some. Oh, I know about the other scavenger hunt. The Chip and Dale. Oh yeah, we did Chip and Dale. Yeah. And Epcot. Remy. And Chip and Dale is so hard. It was very hard. But I want you to check out my ears, you guys. They were sent all the way from the United Kingdom from Sue and Steve. They have a Facebook page called Go Vacation Ears. And these are interchangeable ears. So they send me all kinds of little ones that I can actually flip them out. They're so cool. But oh, oh, wait for it, wait for it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Ah! Monorail shot. This is the second weekend of, no, I'm sorry. This is the third weekend of Festival of the Arts, I believe. And by judging by the wait times, it's gonna be a great day, because we're definitely gonna hit some rides today. Um, we got a Fast Pass for Soaring. Make sure if you visit here, always get a Fast Pass for Test Track, because I feel like it's always long, even on a slow day. Anyways, let's go have some fun. So as you're walking in, you can actually go underneath Spaceship Earth into the left and get a map. And there's other various places you can get a map. Since this little spot, there's no people, this is where the stroller and the wheelchair rentals are, we're going to get our map. If you are an annual pass holder, you also get a little bit of a discount. Jaden's showing you here. So it looks like we're going to have to be finding paintings maybe? Yeah. And we've been very pleased with the prizes in the past. So, let's go have some fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. They've got these new tote bags that I haven't seen. This is huge. Like, um, let's see. Here's my umbrella. I'm going to just kind of show you for comparison. It's like, there we go. It's huge. And it's only $2? Wait, $3. They've got one. This is kind of like a wine size one. It's only a dollar. This one is $2. I'm gonna get one of these on my way out. And this one is three, those are super cute. But I wanna show you something else. Does that look this familiar two right there? The big one's two. The big one is two? two. Holy cow! And that one. This is 150 and it's one. Well, I might have to get all three of them. <laughs> Does that one look familiar, guys? <laughs> so we will be going all around the world. What? Who's here? Pluto. Pluto's here. You can see him over there in the corner. They put different meet and greets over there. They put different meet and greets over there. They do. Yeah, last time I meet Daisy. Daisy? Yeah. Look at the stickers. They're so cute. So she says they're full size paintings you're looking for. So hopefully it's a lot easier than the uh, <laughs> the ones that we've done. Your future. Oh my gosh. Your future, healthy is as easy as out of oh my gosh! <laughs> what you grew? Taking a smart pill with your vitamins. After scanning your body with life waves, it sends the info to your doctor to let her know things are a-okay. <laughs> and now you're ready to start your healthy day. Since you need motivation exercise, and who doesn't? A robot coach will be at your side to make sure you get the <laughs> ultimate workout. And sensors will even relay your health info to a smart menu, which guides you to healthy food choices customized to your taste. <laughs> Or is it? <laughs> Alright, our first taste test is a white chocolate and purple sweet potato mousse with caramel, coconut, and maple meringue. Go ahead. He's nervous to try it. Is it kid friendly? What do you think? 
What do you do? You, do you like it? That face. What kind of flavor is it? Cause I haven't tried it yet. The bottom tastes weird. The bottom part tastes weird. The purple part tastes good. You're going in for another bite there. That's chocolate. Oh, you're gonna take the chocolate part. Well, of course, just pick up the chocolate with your hand. Ooh, that's sticky. I'm gonna try it now. I'm going in for round two. It's just very light. I tried it. It's okay. I don't think I would get it again. I think it's fun to try. It's really pretty. I, don't, I taste a little bit of coconut. I don't taste the bird. That scared me! <laughs> Is the bird coming to get you? I don't... I don't know. It's good. I just don't know if I try it again. Every now and then, you might get super lucky and see someone painting some of the characters. I've seen this done before at Magic Kingdom. Mickey Mouse! This is really cool. This is a paint by number mural that you just go up there and start painting the, it's like a paint by numbers. And it goes all the way down to the end. All right guys, we're entering Canada. <laughs> and it is a very busy day back in the World Pavilion. So let's see how quickly it takes him to find the first. He looks so confused. It is a beautiful day, super beautiful. You find it already? You're looking okay. So let's as look. we're in Canada, I just noticed some new soaps that they have available for sale. And you have to check out the names of these soaps. They're very quite entertaining. Dog Team Jewel Soap. Dinosaur Dung Soap. Ooh, Bear Breath Soap. Oh my. Ferret. I don't even want to say it. it. Smells amazing though. <laughs> oh, how lovely is this one? Oh my goodness. And then we have Satchquatch Sweat Soap. I think, you know, I'm not gonna, and I'm not even gonna make a joke about that. <laughs> and moose spit soap. How appealing. So Canada is kind of hard. We went up and, there, and back in there, we couldn't find it. So now we're heading back down here to the caves. So we're headed back to the Kidcot, Kidcot Flint Stop to see if we can find it. Oh, yes it is, we found it. Yay, our first find. And what's the name of the painting? It is Dreamers Woods, and Figment is in the woods. How cool. Kingdom, here we come. United Kingdom, here we come to find our next painting. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. Just a gorgeous day. So right in the United Kingdom, we just got our picture done. They have a really cool photo spot with the new Mermaid Lagoon. From Peter Pan. From Peter Pan. Now let's go find our painting. Our painting! You're painting! It is, you know why the rides were so low weight? Because everybody's back here in the World Pavilion. But let's take a look. We're in the United Kingdom now. See what we can find. Uh huh, uh huh, yep. So I see some new Mary Poppins merchandise. Practically perfect in every way. And she's got a tumbler. And this is. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, look, and there's so much more. I'm coming. We're still in the United Kingdom looking. Hold on. Oh, I see him. I come over there in two seconds. They've got all kinds of... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Wisteria House. Oh, Jada wants to show me what's over here. Show me what's over here. Oh, yeah. You got the doll, and then you got, like, the Disney kind of Barbie... And then what, is this a magnet? Is that a magnet? I think it is. Um, I don't think that's gonna stick to that. I'm pretty sure that's a magnet. That's Wait, soup. That's see these stick and then they've got the mugs and some ornaments. Yes. So out of all the Mary Poppins merchandise, this is what I definitely am gonna have my eye on. Oh, that's actually not too terribly bad. That's the front of it. I feel like most of the time their jackets are about 65. That's so cute. Is that it, really? No, that's not it. She right past it. We found it, finally. We were looking up and down, up and down. I know. 
Let's see here. Let's see the sticker, buddy. This was uh, in the tea gardens by the tea shop. And right where the Mary Poppin merchandise was, the Mary Poppin merchandise was right outside the door of the Mary Poppin merchandise. You kind of see it right there. And there's a closer look. Oh Lord, silly figment. Guys, guys, what country are we off to next? Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> India. No. Let me see your face. Uh, your handsome face. So this was actually the easiest one that we've located so far. We're walking back into France and there it is right there. So it's before you get back to the bakery and the gift shop in the back. Oh, I see you Disney birds. Not today. <laughs> Good job. What's the, uh, the next country on our list? I feel like we've been doing this for like an hour and we've only had like three countries. Morocco, Morocco's next. Morocco! Let's go. This is how, look, 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 look how many feet. It's hard to walk through here. Look, look at the feet. The feet, the feet, the feet, the feet, the feet, the feet. How many feet can you count? Just kidding. Morocco, Morocco, Moroccan Pavilion. That's not it, is it? I don't think that's the painting. Oh, Aladdin. Yeah, I feel like hopefully Morocco will be pretty easy to find because this pavilion is not as large and there's not as many nooks and crannies. Let's look in here. We always seem to find something in this little treasure over here, but they may not have it over here. Oh, you know which? I bet you I know which one it's going to be. It's probably going to be that one. Because look at the, look at that. Might be in there. Let's take a look. Take a closer look. It might be harder than we think. Hmm. Go down. All right. Well, I spoke too soon, maybe. Hmm. I think it's in the back. It gets back here. Who's eating at this restaurant? Put it in the comments. If you've eaten at this restaurant, what's your favorite dish? I've never eaten back here. What in the world? So we found it. It wasn't too hard. Right underneath the painting, there's a really cool penny press machine, but it's called Pigments of Figment. <laughs> yep. I feel like there could be like hidden Mickey's in there too. Just saying. The don't. other one don't look at my other one. Why? Why not? Why can't I look at your paper? What next to Japan? What is it? I don't know, but how many kids can say they visited 11 countries on a Saturday? One day. Yeah. In one day, we're gonna visit 11 countries. So let's go check out Japan. Beautiful day in Japan. Why were you not? <laughs> Was that English? So I feel like Japan and China are normally the two hardest. Say cheese. The two hardest countries to locate these scavenger hunts and because there's lots of nicks and nicks and crannies but this store back in here is the cutest store if you ever get a chance to come back here in japan this is full of really cool merchandise it's got just all kinds of fun stuff We're, we'll go inside and show you out here i said show you out what it, it doesn't even make any sense but it's really cool and it goes all the way back and wraps all the way around what are we what are we looking for here? We're looking for a painting, but I think we're gonna get distracted by some of this merchandise. Whoa, that's kind of a creepy Godzilla there. I'm following you, buddy. 
Wasn't too hard to find. We actually followed the store to the back before it turns off because you can kind of turn to the left in the back. So it's the very end to the right. But they don't have the name of the painting. Normally they have the name of the painting right there. I don't see the name of it, but that's okay. We found it. Actually, Jaden. Yep, Jaden saw it. No, it's Japan. Jaden saw it before I did. What in the world kind of shoes are these? It's like I can't just the front of it. Uh, I've never seen these kind of shoes. Those are fifty dollars. Is it for people with two toes? It's sort of like I don't know. It's called high toe, split toed footwear with a twist. That's very interesting. All right, we're in the American Adventure. He's gonna go take a look and see if he can find it. I will tell you that the Beef Wellington over there is absolutely amazing. Small, but amazing. And the cookie is huge and very good. Did you find it already? We're doing good. Where's he at? Let's show me. I don't believe you. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, that's hilarious. So we are now in Italy. There's some type of show going on, but we really can't see. Maybe you can see. <laughs> but now we're gonna go look for the next painting. So it took this kid like 10 seconds. We walked back, saw the kid cut area, and here she is. Mona Figment. Mona Figment. Good job! All right, you guys, who can guess the next country that we're headed to? Hey, you're supposed to guess, Sally. This is Germany. Let's go find our painting. Our painting. So here's a fun fact about Germany. Do you guys know about the hidden Mickey up there? And if you do, leave it in the comments below where it is. All right, Jaden found him. First shop where all the sweets are. I should take a look at the sweets. There he is in all his majesty. It does smell good in here. <laughs> So, we have three countries left, so how are you feeling about the scavenger hunt? You think it's pretty easy, medium easy, or super hard? Easy? I think it's medium, because some of them was easy and some of them was like, harder than others. Yeah, for real. So now we're going to China. Oh, they've got um, the acrobats, or what are they doing over there? Cheerleaders? I don't know. Oh, look, Mulan! We get easily sidetracked. Let's go. They're doing. <laughs> We're gonna go over here and see if I can sneak a peek. Like, stand up on this thing. That's probably a no, but. Let's see if I can get a little. Oh, look, there they are. Oh my gosh, she's standing on her head. There we go. That's a pretty good view. Decent. Let's see what's going on. Very cool. So we stopped off in China, and Jaden, for the first time, he really is like a chicken nugget, hot dog, cheeseburger kind of kid. But he's been open to trying new things, and <laughs> we're almost done eating it. But the egg rolls are normally about twice the size. They're only four dollars for two, which is really good for. Not, yeah, when we went last week. Did you try the sushi one? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The rice and the... the rice. Did you yeah. like it? Yeah. And the you did like one. it? Oh. But I'm quite surprised because he's... Sometimes really doesn't like the, the foods too much. So, yeah. 
I'm pretty excited. He likes egg rolls. So yay, my big boy's growing up, finally. Well, not finally. I don't, I don't want him to grow up too fast. <laughs> I like it. I like them. They're very good, so, like, you know, if you need a snack. And the food in China in this little quick service restaurant, um, gosh, I don't know the name of it, but it's immediately kind of to the left when you walk into the China Pavilion. Um, they have, like, a sit-down restaurant that's more like a full service, and then they have this quick service, and they've always had good food in there. Jaden did good. He found this all by himself. We walked to the very back. The ox and the dragon. Very, very back to the right on the outside. I didn't know there was a hotel back here. I'm kidding. But yeah, we basically walked just straight back and it was all the way to the right. It was pretty easy peasy, not too hard to find. So we didn't go through all the gift shops this time. Look at the souvenir pennies. So now we're going to Norway. The sun's starting to set. It's feeling absolutely perfect outside. I wonder how long it is for the frozen ride, because if it's not very long, I'm definitely going to ride it. But let's find the painting. If you guys don't know why I'm saying it like that, it's because, oh, heck no. If it's 55 minutes, I am not waiting. So. Oh yeah, that's not any better. So the funny thing is when we, the first video we made at Festival of the Arts, uh, me and my daughter had eaten the beef wellington and Jaden hadn't even taken a bite out of his cookie. And I said, oh, he's playing with his food. And he's like, I'm painting. That's why I always say it like that. Anyways, let's go find, look at the beautiful waterfall. Man, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous outside. Gorgeous. Norway. Well, that was easy peasy. We walked right in the door where the big old troll is, and bam! One little scream. Can you make that face? <laughs> Look at all the chocolates. Ooh. Look at these chocolates. Ooh, look at that chocolate. I'm gonna have to try some of these chocolates. <laughs> these look like really creepy gummy bears. Have any of you guys tried any of these chocolates? And if so, are they any good? They have some food that me and my sister tried last year during um, Flower and Garden. We didn't care for it too much. It, it was kind of like, like undercooked. This looks yummy right there. All right, let's go to... Mexico. Maybe we'll go on that ride. We're in Mexico. This is one of the Coco scenes that they have inside here. We just watched it last night as I was doing invoices. And I actually messed up on the invoices because I was so distracted by watching the movie. I haven't seen it. I think I have to say Mexico is probably one of my favorite pavilions. Just because I love the inside of it. Oh, you're going to do the game? So there's a game that you can play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on. Okay. Tap the magic band to begin. I wonder if it will work. <laughs> Hola, kid. Hector, at your service. Get out of boy. <laughs> you're not a kid. You're a boy. Life is pretty bueno here in the land of the dead. Why not give it a whirl? You gotta create him. So you can choose. Remember me. La 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 la. La 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 la. But, anyways, as I was saying before, it's just. I think because of the inside of it is just so amazing. I love the, the atmosphere right over there inside. I just think it's. So beautiful. And then I, I like France. I like the United Kingdom. I don't know, I like them all. But I think Mexico has a, has a special place in my heart. Alright. So that's his creation. And then it saves. Now shake what you got. Go loco. It takes a picture. Woo! 
and she, move it. See if you move around. See if it move. He, if you move, move you. You move. <laughs> like you move your face. Oh, I don't know. And then you get it on your photo pass. Quiet. Honestly, I got a sneak peek of Nate and Veronica's video the other day, and I really came out to Epcot just to just to see something on this ride something so special the scavenger hunt was just a ploy to get over here <laughs> Jaden, look. Now we don't have to stay for the fireworks. What do you think? <laughs> Speechless? We think that we shall enter a fast! Who is this? I don't know. Oh, it's the painting wasn't on the ride, <laughs> but normally it's a walk-on. I will tell you one thing though, if they change that ride to Coco, he is looking desperately. <laughs> if they change it to Coco, that wait time is going to bump up cray cray. The last painting, we found it! Yeah! Figment's like the smoke. Hey, you should have got down, man. All right, and we completed the map. Landscape near the volcano figment. So now we've completed it. We can go get our prize. Good job. It only took us 10 hours. No, I'm just kidding. But the sun is setting. But it was a wonderful day here at Epcot. Bit busy at the World Showcase Pavilion, but just the weather makes it good, and the food was good that we tried. But wait, we're not finished with the food. So this is our third or our fourth. This is our no, fourth. Eleven. No, our fourth hunt that we've completed. The third one at here at Epcot. Not the three. The third one here, but remember we did the Stitch one in Disney Springs. So a lot of walking involved in this one, but we did it. He's nervous. He's a Jaden is a great artist, and he keeps saying he's terrible. He's so good. So this is where you go in and they teach you to draw like um, one of the Disney characters. And Jaden is a great, great artist. You really are. But they're going to teach him how to do a Disney one. So I think it's going to come out so good and I'm so excited. We timed this just right because we were walking in and they were letting people in. So we're pretty excited about this. And for those of you who don't know, this is, uh, I think it's called, I don't even know, <laughs> animation I'm not sure what it is, but it's in the Showcase Pavilion as you enter the World Showcase kind of to the left. But it's totally free with your paid admission. Oh no, it's starting. Oh no. It's not starting yet. You're, it's going to look so good. You're going to do better than mommy. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. I don't have any eraser. Oh no! <laughs> oh well, I guess that's art. We're excited, ready to go. So got my ears on. They haven't fallen off. They're very really comfortable. Describe Thank you, Sue and Steve. We love it. We love these. Describe I'm terrible at drawing Disney characters. You're not, you're not terrible. Yes, I am. You are gonna be amazing. I'm so excited to see how it comes out. Oh no. Oh yes. Yes. Or done. Jaden's freaking out. Goofy the guy's is coming the up hardest stage. character the whole time. For real. He's really hard. In Clarebell Cow. For real, I don't Claire want Bell to pick it. I don't want to pick it. So, this is how my figment guy comes out. No, mine looks kind of funny. I'm not going to show you guys his because I'm going to respect his 
um, privacy. I absolutely love his picture, but he doesn't want to show it off, and I will respect that, but I love it. I think he did a fantastic job, and that was a lot of fun. It was like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I definitely recommend checking it out. <laughs> so, I ate the purple one already. Jaden, you got the red one. What do you think? On a 1 to 10, what do you think about these wonderful churros? I, I say they're seven. I think they're good. All right, what do you think? One to ten. Good? Good. So, really good. Your mouth's turning blue. The white chocolate was good. You can get this at Taste Track. It's white chocolate dipped churros. We were going to try the lobster bacon macaroni and cheese served in a roll. But I figured the combination of that and the sugar probably wasn't the best. Now, what I didn't show on camera was I did stop in Germany to try the short rib. Oh my gosh, that is a definite must. The short rib, rib is <laughs> delicious. I mean, the meat just fell apart. It was so good. It left me wanting more. But I was so hungry from walking around the World Pavilion that I galvoned it in about like two seconds. So yeah. So after we eat this, we're gonna go get a prize from the scavenger hunt. And I want to point out to you, it's raining. Why do I point this out? Because it said it was going to rain at 2 o'clock today. Like an 80% chance. And it did not rain. However, it's raining now. It's a little after 7. But we came prepared. We brought an umbrella. So always bring an umbrella because you never know what's going to happen in the Florida weather. He so just got released this week. What do you think? Yeah, your name. I like him a lot, but I feel like I would want to eat consistently <laughs> donuts if I got these ears, but they are really cute. They are super cute. Oh my goodness. Where did you find that at? Oh my goodness. Is redeeming his prize. Oh, there's one of these. Three different ones. Yeah. So one's figment based. One looks like it's, well, they're all art space. Why don't you look inside and see what's inside? That one I think is more like figment and figment stickers. It's gonna be hard to choose, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's look at this one. Or is it, are they all the same? No, they're not. No. This one's got more like the Fab Five. You got a little bit of figment in this one too. Mickey, he's like a chef. This one looks to be more art based. And the last one's more like artsy. Very cool, which one? Figment, figment, figment it is. All right, and you get to keep All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe, the bell button so you don't lose a minute of all the fun. It will notify you of all future videos. We finished up just as it started raining, so we made a beeline for the door, and it was just a great day. It was beautiful outside. We got a lot done, and it was super fun. Yeah. So thank you for watching, and remember, every day you dip and have faith and share the joy.